All right, in this video we're going to talk about the derivative of the inverse cotangent function. Um, so we talked about the derivative of the inverse tangent, um, and we're actually going to use that to prove this. So we're kind of going to do this the same way we did the uh, derivative of the inverse cosine. Um, so here, d dx of inverse cotangent of x equals negative 1 over x squared plus 1. So notice this is just the negative of the derivative of inverse tangent, right? So how are we going to show this? Well, let's go ahead and start with uh, y equals inverse cotangent of x. All right. So this uh, means x equals cotangent of y. All right. And um, complementary angle theorem from basic trig tells us that this is the same thing as tangent of pi over 2 minus y. All right. So uh, this means. This means that uh, x equals the tangent of pi over 2 minus y. Okay? So if x equals tangent of that, then that equals inverse tangent of x. So then what we have is uh, inverse tangent of x equals pi over 2 minus y. All right? So now let's go ahead and add y to both sides. So we have y plus uh, inverse tangent of x equals pi over 2. All right, now we're going to subtract inverse tangent of x from both sides, so we end up with y equals pi over 2 minus uh, inverse tangent of x. Okay, so that's good because uh, what do we have now? Now we have y equals this thing, okay, and also from up here we have y equals this. All right, so y equals inverse cotangent of x and y equals pi over 2 minus inverse tangent of x. So y equals this, y equals that. So this and that have to equal each other from the tan uh, transitive property. So let's go ahead and write that down. Um, what do we have here? We have cotangent inverse of x equals running out of markers here, uh, equals, change colors, uh, equals pi over 2 minus uh, the inverse tangent of x. All right? So uh, let's make this all the same color. So why are these things equal to each other? Because, uh, again, they're both equal to y. Okay? And if they both equal the same thing, then they have to equal each other. All right, so now if we want to take a derivative, um, what are we going to have? Well, if we take a derivative of both sides, then we have uh, ddx here, all right? And then over here, we have uh, ddx. Okay? So um, ddx of pi over 2 minus inverse tangent of x, so the way we do that, uh, remember, differentiate term by term, right? So that's going to be the derivative of pi over 2, which is 0, and then we have minus the derivative of inverse tangent of x. And the derivative of inverse tangent of x is 1 over x squared plus 1. Okay. So then um, the 0 just goes away, uh, and then we just, we're just left with negative 1 over x squared plus 1. Um, and that's the derivative of the inverse cotangent function.